Okay, I believe we are live again. I just uh, took a quick break to do that, do, to get myself a glass of water. And, you know, um, but um, yeah, I'm joined here by the legend in the sport of uh, roller games and roller derby, Little Richard Brand or, or King Richard Brand, depending on which uh, you, uh, federation you were in. Because uh, uh, you started way back in the city. Yeah, I started the uh, first professional game was in uh, 1964, San Francisco Bay Bombers. And skated my first game there, and then um, I moved over to Roller Games in uh, '65 with Bill Griffiths. With Bill Griffiths, with Bill Griffiths and that was where most of my hit career was. Yeah, so he uh, he started uh, so he started like said, uh, back in San Francisco, but the uh, yeah, he joined uh, Roller Games, and he he skated basically from from '65 all the way through. But the 1989 wasn't it? Yeah, I actually I skated at 2016. Uh, oh, okay. Because yeah, I know you knew that. Yeah, with Hiroshi from Japan. Right, the USA Japan. 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 Yeah. Yeah, the, um, as I know um, you, were, you were also in uh, Rock and Roller Games. Uh, yeah, I did. Part, rock. part of the Maniacs. Yeah, uh, and then I also skated with the Roller Jam. Right. Uh, King of uh, Florida. With, uh, uh, I started off with the Sun Dogs from Florida and then ended up with, uh, with the uh, Riot team. Yeah. yeah. And carrying around the briefcase and your crown. Yeah. That's, yeah. When, that's, when, yeah. He, that's when he was known as King Richard. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, so yeah, and so that's it. and you you had your classic uh, matches up there with the uh, with the Atkinsons and yeah, and with, yeah, everybody yeah. else. Yes, I did. Yeah. So uh, it was a long career. I really enjoyed it. Uh, inducted into the Roller Derby Hall of Fame in 2007. That's awesome. Uh, so, but my career started with the Roller Derby. That was just, I started training when I was 13. Yeah, yeah, so you're so 16 in order to skate professionally. So, so you, so you're basically under under Leo. Yes. So, so before until the past, well, training. Jerry said no. I, I, it was with Jerry. Oh, it was Jerry. Okay. Yeah. So, so Leo had already turned over. Yeah, to Jerry. To Jerry yeah. Oh, okay. uh, and then I trained for the three years, you know, with the, all the roller derby people, and uh, like I said, skated the first game in '64. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was July the 24th, uh, of 24 that year that I skated. And I don't know if everybody will remember about this place called Frank Ewell Field, which was on the Laney campus where the Raiders played their games prior to going into their stadium. And I skated my first game there. And uh, I mean, I've been a roller derby person yeah. ever since then. You know, so. <laughs> yeah, so and you've had a great career too. And I'm, hey, focus, focus. <laughs> yeah, I know you've had, you've had a great career anyway. Uh, I know you've had, you've had uh, I know you had your, your time in the uh, rock and roll games. I mean, you, you, you really mastered that uh, that wall of that, death. Yeah, that was, that was, it was funny because when they uh, brought me out there to, to skate that track, you know, the very first time I went and worked we're taught to, to coast into the turn. Mm -hmm. And so when I went up that wall, I went up there and coasted and fell straight down and, and wiped myself out there, you know, crawled home with all aches and pains. But yeah, it became a. Uh, because you really, because like, like Matt Dickens, you really mastered it too. Yeah, we were, I was able, we were able to go up to the very top, you know. Because I, I remember it's like, like sometimes, like, like I seen you just flying off that jet too. Right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was. And I, I enjoyed it. I just thought that the the wall they used the wrong way, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, I always thought that if you as a jammer went through the pack and scored points, mm -hmm. then you could be able to go up onto the wall. So kind of, like, the kind, of, kind, of, kind of like a reversal back then. Yeah. Uh, so for me, that should have been the bonus. It, to me, it just didn't make sense to go up on the wall, and score six points, come off the ramp, score six points, and then try to go through the back to score two points. Well, two or three points in the back didn't make a sense to me, but <laughs> hey, uh, I didn't invent it, so <laughs> you just went along with it. You went along with it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, I remember like uh, I think one of the games I guess you skated with uh, I guess uh, the Seabirds in that game in that series. Yeah, I think uh, I think uh, Daryl Davis was coming back to the block and he did a 360 around. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, I, over the years, I just learned to master those different, different for, things. For, of course, you had your mishaps, too. You know, like the, about the, when you came up behind Ray Robles one time, and uh, you were going to do a high hip lock, and you ended up on Going up over the rail. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you have your ups and your downs. Exactly. Yeah, so. <laughs> I mean, you, you can't pick that kind of stuff. Right? Yeah. Okay, now, why did you go? Come on, you're supposed to focus. <laughs> and I'm not that fuzzy. <laughs> So sometimes it does that. I think it can be yeah, around a while. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's uh, but you, you, you get, you've had a really good career over the whole thing. Yeah. But, but you're probably enjoying your retirement years on that. So. Yeah, well, you know, I would like to skate one last game if I could. Yeah, there you go. Well, uh, I've skated in six different decades mm -hmm. the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, 2000s, and 2010. So, uh, was, was there any particular person uh, that you like skating against the most, or, 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 or it may have been the toughest skater you've been against? Well, I, I, I think the toughest skater would have been Charlie O'Connor from South Sister Bay. He, he has hit me the hardest. Yeah. Uh, I remember when we I was on the LA T Birds and we skated against South Sister Bay Bombers, and he hit me. And I saw spots before my eyes for <laughs> for the rest of the period, you know. But so he's um, so he's basically your toughest one. Yeah, uh, in, in that sense. Right. In that sense. But um, I've always enjoyed skating against like Larry Lewis. Uh, my one of my top times of spinning was when Mike Gammon and I was on the Philadelphia Warriors in '67 uh, and '68. Uh, I really enjoyed skating with him. I learned a lot uh, from him and Buddy. You know, so that was probably one of the best times that I had. Um, but like I said, with uh, any time I skated against Larry Lewis, I always had to uh, be on my toes against Larry Lewis. Uh, anytime you skate against Ronnie Range, you always had to be on your He's a huge because you never knew what he was going to do. Yeah, I've seen him in action. Like, he's he, un, un, unpredictable. For yeah, uh, unpredictable. Him and Lee Ward Gonzalez was the same way. But my favorite skater uh, to skate for and against was uh, uh, Dave Pound. Oh, yeah. I just love to skate against him and uh, watch him skate. He was a good skater, too. Yeah. You know, he's very tough in the on dragon. I can still remember him doing uh, like like uh, like back in the war games where he was trying to keep Ralphie from scoring. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, one of the amazing ones to me was John Parker. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was just always amazed at his agility. You know, he was agile. He could. He was uh, very deceptive. Very deceptive because he can move. Just like Danny Riley. I bet, yeah, Danny Riley was. He was a yeah. I, 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 I saw his highlight reel. I go, Danny Riley, James? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I remember one time I, I, I took off and John Parker came out after me. And I looked back and I was shocked to see him there right on me. You know? <laughs> oh, wait a minute, you better get in gear here. You know? <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he was, uh, I enjoyed But I enjoyed skating against mostly everybody. I just loved skating on the bank track. Right. You know. and I'm sure you'll probably be out of lollies tomorrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I've had my share of injuries. I've had my share of good times and bad times, you know. Uh, but I, I loved it. Yeah, I, I was going to try and basically try out for the world games myself uh, back in the 80s, too. But uh, yeah. when, when they were going to hold the world games, the tryouts, uh, they canceled the whole thing. So I just oh, never okay. had a chance. Yeah. So, but, uh, yeah. but I've been on the bank track a few times uh, in the past. Back in Pomona, so. it, it, for, for me, it's, a, it's, it's harder for me because I'm a novice on it. So. So I'm, I'm sure I could probably get going if I if I, if I, if I, if I I've, I've skated on some uh, good tracks and big bad tracks and large tracks and uh, short tracks and uh, <laughs> uh, the best track I ever skated on was uh, in Hawaii. Mm. The track that they had in Hawaii for me was about the best I've ever skated on. That's cool. Yeah. So it's uh, it's, 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 it's a good story career and everything. So it's a. Uh, you continue to be successful, whatever you're doing, even though you're not 
actively skating, I'm sure you do yeah. that. You wouldn't mind doing one more game. Yeah, I still would love to. I still love it. I'm a diehard roller girl, big track skating fan. Uh, yeah. Who knows? Maybe Hiroshi might do another game. Yeah, you never know. You know, he may have, and they may ask me to come out there and do it. I mean, yeah. I don't think my wife will be happy about it. But <laughs> so, uh, uh, I guess to make kind of history, I uh, would love to do one more game. You know, make like full circle. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, that would be very cool. I, I, I would love to see that myself. And I hope I'll be in the infield taking pictures of it. So. Yes, sir. Yeah. That sounds good. Thanks, thanks for the chat here.